Hey Gemini's, welcome to July 2019. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so the card that popped out for you guys for July 2019 is the Devil card. So this month, you're really going to see the dark side of relationships. The the side that nobody ever wants to talk about. Whenever we watch the romantic comedies, it's what happens after the ending, right? After the happily ever after. So you're gonna to start to see that jealousy, that possessiveness, that obsessiveness, um, you know, that insecurity, the projection, the inner child wounds, uh, the, the lack of root work, lack of self-awareness, uh, lack of self-knowledge, lack of communication. Pretty much we're gonna see all of the negatives of relationships for July, 2019. The good thing about that, Gemini, is that you have finally found your balance. You finally found some fairness when it comes to all of the work, when it, com when it comes to the relationships, all of the work you've done over the last couple months with the deception, with the lies, whatever, you've now finally found balance, equilibrium, equilibrium, your balance, okay? The obstacle in the age that Gemini is the power that you gained within your home. So not just within your home, but within yourself, right? Because your Gemini's, first of all, they rule your immediate environment. They rule the third house, which is all about your immediate environment. So I think I mentioned this in a last reading for Gemini's, but if you don't feel good in your immediate environment, then that will be the easiest thing for you to control and change. For instance, if you're living in a cluttered house, do the work. Spend this month to clean out the, the clutter, clean out the hoarding, bring in things that make you feel happy. Don't just go by what's aesthetically in interior design, you know, what's in fashion. Bring in that, you know, that old teddy bear that you've had since you were a kid and put it on your couch, you know. Do things that make you feel emotionally stable. It's like Marie Kondo says, the things that spark joy. If you have stuff in your immediate environment that is not sparking joy, you're going to feel that. You're going to feel it. It's one of those subconscious small things that affect us in a major way. And if you change it, it can create a huge shift. So the power that you've gained within your home is the obstacle and the aid. It's the reason why you found your balance, but it's also the reason why you're going to be kind of really possessive and making sure that you don't ever get imbalanced again, because this is all based on an emotional connection that you've had with yourself recently. You've gotten back in touch with yourself, which is just excellent. Subconsciously, Gemini for July 2019, huge transformation. This was the card that your June 2019 was all about. Huge transformation beneath the surface that just continues to, to you know, grow like a snowball, just continuing to gain momentum and changes to fulfill you in a positive way. So don't resist it. Flow with the universe. If the universe is trying to pull people out of your life and bring in new people, why not? Why not? This is what you're thinking about right now, starting something new and bringing in something new, and that's excellent. Uh, this is how people view you right now, Gemini, as a king of wands. So they're viewing you, um, depending on where your moon or your Venus or your rising is, send me an email if you don't know, I'd be happy to let you know. If it's in a fire sign, that's what's really being brought to the surface right now. It's like ever since Gemini season ended, um, and now that we're we're getting closer into that Leo energy, that fire energy, your fire energy is coming out. The summer's really bringing that fire energy out, which is all about pioneering leadership, aka starting something new, okay? And that's what you're thinking about right now. So people are really seeing that for your July 2019. Family and friends, something's missing there. Something's missing there. When it comes to your family and friends, there are a couple people, a couple things that you have a great connection with, but there's one person in your family and friends that you have to mend that connection or cut it completely. It's Right now, it's a severed connection. So you'll know exactly who the person is. It's the one that you don't feel good after spending time with them. Either completely mend the relationship by having that heart to heart, that drunken, you know, late night by the fire conversation, or just sever it completely by cutting the cords and removing the person from your life because that um, that a little bit connection is just creating havoc for everybody around you as well. And the universe wants to bring you something new, but it doesn't feel like you're ready. So that's this person is also reminding you of the dark side of relationships as well. Hope and fear is to not feel like you felt last month, right? You kind of liked it. You kind of liked it because I'll be honest with you, there are times when I'm in my de depressed mode 
And I'm like, I'm staying here. I'm staying sad. Nothing's going to cheer me up. You can bring me ice. You know, Justin Bieber could nakedly bring me ice cream and I would still be depressed. I'm in a depressed mode right now. You kind of liked it because you did a lot of soul searching, a lot of transformation. But of course, there's still fear there because you went into hermit mode. You, It was painful. It was sleepless nights. It was worry. It was sorrow. It was all of this energy. So keep that in mind, hope and fear. And if you hope for it and fear it, you're pretty much surely going to get it again. So if you don't want it, just release it and like acknowledge the fact that there is a little bit of a hope for it because it really catapulted your transformation when you know that you needed it. But if you're, you know, only hope for it, if you really want it, right? Okay. The outcome for Gemini, July, 2019, I am so pleased to say is a new relationship, a new partnership. And with this partnership, you can release some things that are not serving you anymore. You can make some sacrifices and be okay with it. Release the people, places, things that are holding you back and just focus on this new partnership. That gets me so excited because my Gemini father-in-law has been single for far too long. So love you guys so much. As always, if you want a personalized reading, if you want to identify this person so you don't you know, walk right past them with your head in your phone when they're right there. Send me an email. My details are below and I use astrology and numerology for all my readings. Please don't forget to subscribe. Love you, Gemini, so much. And I will see you next month. Bye, guys.